Hello my loves, I hope you're all really well. We are going to have ourselves a very cosy day today. The weather is the most Christmassiest weather of them all. I am currently looking out at just snow covered trees. Well, actually I don't I think it's like thick frost because we haven't had any like proper snow here but everything is white it looks so beautiful the sun is glistening through the trees it's all glittery and i am really 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 enjoying this weather from the inside because it's absolutely freezing outside i think today is something like minus four and apparently i heard on the radio this morning we are forecast look at me the weather the weather woman today we've forecasted snow for christmas how magical is that i have always i don't think i've ever had a white christmas i just think waking up to this weather on christmas morning would be the most magical of them all and i, I really am i'm really hoping for a white christmas this year guys anyway that was your <laughs> weather update <laughs> plans for today are i am about to head out over to M&S to have a look at their Christmas food. This is one of my favorite things to do every single year. I am actually hosting Boxing Day this year, so I really need to start planning what I'm doing. I feel like this year I'm, I'm just feeling very unorganized. Usually by this time, it's currently less than two weeks till Christmas and I haven't finished my Christmas shopping. I haven't planned our food for Boxing Day and today needs to be that day. I really want to just feel very organized by the end of today. So yeah, I'm hosting Boxing Day. So I want to go and have a look what M&S have got. I have ordered a few bits that I'm going to go... I think I'm going to do a big Christmas food shop on the 22nd. I've booked a slot at M&S to go and get a few bits that I've ordered online. But I want to have a look at their party food because M&S party food, there's just nothing quite like it. And as we're now on the run up to Christmas, with less than two weeks to go, I am starting to crave picky dinner. Like just a picky tea. Cheese, crackers a ham hock, crisps, nuts, breaded brie that you put in the oven, you know, the little mini ones that come with like the cranberry dip, oh, chicken goujons. I'm just craving a picky tea. So I'm thinking today, we'll head over to M&S, have a look what they've got, scope out all of the Christmas bits, plan what I'm gonna get for Boxing Day because Boxing Day I wanna do like a, a good spread. I want some cooked meats, so I think I'm gonna cook a turkey and a gammon and then big cheese board, um, lots of party food, and then I wanna do a desserts table as well. So yeah, that is the plan for this morning. Um, also, our kitchen is pretty much finished. I do need to just change, I'll, I'll talk you through what kind of like the changes we'd like to make are, but our cabinets are now done and they look amazing. We are so happy with it. I've also ordered some new bar stools. Let me show you the bar stools quickly so when I show you the kitchen you need to imagine these bar stools instead of the ones that we've got um I feel like the ones that we've got went with the old kitchen but now it's a lot softer and lighter I just think these will go so much so much better and will really finish the kitchen off so I've ordered two of these which are coming second week of January yeah, when I show you the kitchen imagine Imagine these are under the little breakfast bar. The kitchen reveal in three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh, it's not focusing. <laughs> that was a fail. That really reminded me of um, Princess Diaries where they're like, we give you a princess. But in, in my case, it's like, we give you a kitchen. We are so happy with it, guys. It's... It's honestly made such a huge difference to our kitchen. It feels so much more open, so much cleaner, so much fresher, so much brighter, so much cozier as well, because this color is obviously a lot, a lot warmer than the gray it was before. But yeah, we're so, so happy with it. And you'd never ever be able to tell either that it was sprayed like it looks like a whole new kitchen matt has done such an amazing job i'll leave matt's details down below just in case 
any of you guys are looking to get your kitchen sprayed he also does like doors he does like general decorating as well so yeah i'll leave him linked down below but we are so happy with it i think plans for now for the kitchen the first thing that needs to be done is this splashback needs to be changed but we're not sure if we want to tile just this part of the kitchen as much as this is annoying jamie said taking this down will make a lot of mess so i'm thinking leave that there for now in the new year decide if we're gonna tile which i think we will i've seen these like herringbone tiles like just white which i think will go with the pattern of the floor which i think will just finish this area off really nicely oh my goodness i can't get over how <gasps> nice it looks i just think the cream goes so much nicer with the oak worktops it goes so much nicer with the floor I feel like it ties in with all the colors of like our toaster kettle coffee machine yeah i'm so happy with it um and then also Another little project for the new year is to paint the walls because our walls are kind of a, a cooler tone now and they do clash slightly with the cupboard doors. So we're going to paint that maybe a little bit more of a warm colour. We need to get some blinds. I'm thinking either a Roman blind or just, you know, like a, a classic blind, <laughs> just a white um, Venetian blind. This side of the room is just a bit of a mess, to be honest. Um, we really need to rethink this entire area because we're going to be doing an arch in the wall here, as you guys know, thinking of potentially doing some kind of media wall and then maybe changing this area. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet, but we can think about that in the next few months. We've got little Tilly over there who's doing really, really, really well. Um, and also another huge update as well, Jamie's garden office is pretty much finished. When he gets home later, I will get him to give you a little, a little update of what he's done so far, but we're pretty much ready to move all of his office stuff into the office. I think he just needs to paint the outside. We're going to do some kind of like wood stain on that, but the flooring's done. And yeah, excited to show you a little outdoors office update. I cannot get over how wintry it looks out there. I mean, the barbecue is kind of ruining it right now and all of this. Our garden's just a tip. Um, this is like materials for the outdoor office, but another new year project, tidying up the garden. Part of me wonders, will I ever get to a point where there's just nothing to do in the house? I feel like when you, have a house, there's always something that needs doing. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting to a point, if there is, if that point's a thing, where I'm just like, do you know what? We're done. We're finished. There are no more home projects. Just, there are no more home projects. As much as they're fun, I am looking forward to that, that feeling of just being content. <laughs> Instead of like, this needs doing, that needs doing, this needs doing, but yeah. They are a few little home updates. I feel like 2023 is gonna be the year of trying to get our home finished. The color that I decided to go for in the end was called, um, it was Far and Ball, but it wasn't actually Far and Ball. So the paint color I chose was Far and Ball, but Matt actually will color match with the paint that he uses, which is like a special paint for spraying, which is durable for kitchens. So this paint color is New White. Um, by Farron Ball and it's like a let me show you it on the leaflet thing because on the leaflet it looks really yellow but in life it doesn't look yellow it's just like a really a really lovely fresh cream so this is what it looks like in the little booklet which you can see is a lot darker than it actually looks which we head over to M&S I'm gonna take my morning vitamins I have got an amazing discount code for my vitamins, which is Gemma, and that will get you 55% off your order. So if you are looking to start taking vitamins, if you're looking to stock up on your existing vitamins, then definitely use my code because you can save over half price. I will leave a link down below for my vitamins. The ones that I'm currently taking, hair, skin and nail gummies, as always you guys know these are one of my essential 
product. Take a vitamin D gummy, which is essential for this time of year. Obviously, there's not much sunlight in the winter, and these will help to keep your vitamin D levels up, which is really important. And then last but not least, I take coconut and collagen capsules amazing for your skin and i actually put a new order in with my vitamins yesterday which i think is coming at the end of the week and i ordered some bits for the new year but one of my top goals for the new year is to get back into some kind of healthy lifestyle um this year has just been a little bit all over the place i really haven't put myself first at all um which i feel like comes with having a new baby but I don't think I've done any, any exercise all year. Pretty sure I haven't. Um, and yeah, just, I feel just, ugh. Yeah, I really wanna get back into a healthy lifestyle. I wanna do some exercise. I want to start making really healthy, nutritious meals again, because eating healthy really does make me feel good. So that's one of my top goals for the new year. So I ordered some new vitamins. I got some apple cider vinegar gummies some protein gummies and a few other bits. I'll show you what I picked up, um, obviously, in the new year when I start getting back into more of a healthy routine, which I am really looking forward to. It's been long overdue. I think I've just been like slothing it for the past year. Obviously, I've, I've been pregnant, I've given birth, I now have a baby and rarely really get time to um, eat anything nutritious. So yeah, next year is the year I hopefully get back into a bit of a routine. So I will leave a link down below for my vitamins. They have so many different products which you can use my code on. Something for everyone, something to help any of your health goals. And yeah, don't forget to use my discount code because you can save 55% off. It is so frosty. Look at all the windows, completely frosted up. And it says on the dash that it's minus three. Minus three. Wow. I am home from MS. I just wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up. I didn't pick up too much purely because we don't have too much fridge or freezer space. First up, Pigs in Blankets, a Christmas classic. It's not Christmas without these. I look forward to a pig in blanket every single year. So we had these last year and I ended up buying a few more packets after Christmas because they were so delicious. Then I got some of these battered mini sausages, chip shop style. And there's like a little curry sauce in there. I really wanted to try these last year, but they sold out everywhere. So was very happy to get some of these this year. Not sure if these will make it till Christmas without being opened. Then I got some mini chicken Kievs. These look so good. Cocktail sausage selection. There's like three different types. Gruyere. Gruyere? Is that how we say it? Gruyere cheese. I think it is. <laughs> Gruyere and red... Gr that does not sound right. Gruyere and red onion. Truffle, honey and parmigiano. Oh, I'm butchering this, aren't I? Red... <laughs> right, there's three different flavours. I cannot pronounce these three words and I don't want to say it and completely mess them up, so... Thought they were nice, love a cocktail sausage at Christmas. Then I got these Southern Fried Chicken Bites. Yum. Then some bits that I'm gonna try and keep for Boxing Day. We've got the Pigs in Blanket Combo Mix, Turkey Feast Combo Mix, Pigs in Blankets. I feel like the theme of this food shopping haul is Pigs in Blankets. <laughs> pigs in Blankets Hand Cooked Crisps, then this cheesy garlic dough ball Christmas tree. How good does that look? And then I got these little mini gingerbread biscuits to pop on hot chocolates I thought would be cute. Mince pies, I love a mince pie. I've never tried a nice one though, so I'm excited to see what they're like. I've got some cinnamon bun mix. I made cinnamon buns not long ago, but it was, it was quite the faff. So I thought these would be just something quick and easy to bake if I fancy baking something festive, but I haven't really got time to do the whole cinnamon buns. Then I just picked up some sausages, some mash and some gravy. Um, and I thought we could have this for dinner tonight as just like something 
nice, quick and easy. Picked up some ginger shots. This is one of my favorites. It's like super gingery. So if you like things that are very gingery, this is great. I like to have this every single morning. Then we got the goods. We got the honey roast cashews. This is, when I think of Christmas, I think of honey roast cashews. They're so nice, especially these ones in the tin. There's just something about the tin that makes them taste different. Then I got some sweet chili coated peanuts. I got some golden blonde chocolate and toffee cookies. I loved the tin, thought it was super good. Then, guys, look at this, a choc corn wreath. We love the chocolate corn slabs. So I thought I'd get Jamie this wreath because it looks, I say Jamie, I mean, this can be like a joint present for us both because it looks so yummy. Then, last but not least, I got a selection of mulled wines. I got a gingerbread mulled wine. Then, this is one of my favorite ones from M&S. Again, I had this one last year. Popped it in a um, saucepan with some fresh orange sliced up, some cinnamon sticks. Oh, it's one of my favorite things. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tells of her It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home there's no better place waking up on Christmas. Just made myself a coffee. We've got the candles lit. Feeling very cozy. I am just about to pop a Christmas film on. There's loads of new ones on Netflix this year. I've watched a few um, new ones. So I've watched A Christmas Miracle for Daisy. Highly recommend. It's just one of those super cheesy ones, but also like a really happy, feel good film. And then another one that I watched, which I loved, was, what's it, what's it called? Your Christmas or Mine. Oh, I loved it. It was so good. And then I watched another one as well. What was that called? The Noel Diary. So, plan, plan. I keep just saying plan. Plan, plan, plan. That's literally in my mind. I'm like, plan, plan, plan. Um, plan for this afternoon. In about an hour and a half, we are popping over to Wurzels because I've booked tickets to have a look around their Christmas fair with Noah, which I think will be really nice. So we're going there at four. It's currently two o'clock, so I've got a few hours now which I am going to use to get organised. I really want to finish my Christmas shopping this afternoon. I've got a few little bits got a list on my phone of things that I need to get. I've got a few little bits that I need to get which will just be really nice to mentally tick the to-do list in my mind because it's something that I just really want to get done. I also have all of like a, a horde of Christmas gifts in my office so I want to get all of those down and just divide them into people's piles so I can have a look what I've got um, and decide what I still need to get. So that's what I'm going to do for the next hour or so. Then we're going to head over to Wurzel's. Christmas film of the day. Oh, 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 series recommendations. I feel like it's a while since I've given you guys any series recommendations. We just finished watching Deceit on Netflix. You guys know I love a crime drama. Cri BBC crime drama is my thing. Um, Deceit is up there with one of my favourite ones that I've seen. It's up there with Line of Duty. It was so good. It's only a four part series, so very like easy to watch, but it was so good. So we've just finished that. Um, we also watched The Ex-Wife on Paramount Plus. Highly recommend, very good. If you love like a really twisty, um, creepy thriller, that keeps you on your toes, kind of gives you a bit of anxiety. Sometimes I'm watching these I'm watching these series and I'm like, these are not good for me <laughs> because I'm there like so tense, like so anxious of what's gonna happen. I say to Jamie, this is giving me anxiety. Um, 
but yeah i still keep watching them so today i'm gonna watch angel falls christmas because this one keeps popping up on my recommended and it looks like another really happy one so i'm gonna pop this on and finish my christmas shopping once and for all just wanted to show you a few gifts that i've got this year um i've just been sorting through everything like i've got a bag for each person now so it's just a lot easier before i go ahead and wrap everything which i'll probably get started on next week when i've got a little bit of time but i thought i'd show you a few bits obviously i can't show you everything because i would hate to ruin anyone's christmas gift but i can show you a few bits i got for noah i can show you a few bits i got for my mum um and maybe it'll give you some last minute gift ideas speaking of gift ideas so i am really really sorry i didn't do my annual christmas gift guides i feel really sad about it i keep thinking about it all the time and i said to jamie so many times like i feel so just sad that i didn't do them this year the reason that there was no gift guides this year is just because i my mind has been all over the place, honestly. As you guys know, I've been uploading once a week um, just to kind of like ease me back into uploading and kind of getting used to um, almost like a, a work motherhood balance, which I found very hard. I'm getting more into it now, but it's definitely been, it's been a challenge. It's been, it's been a challenge to think of anything other than Noah and his needs so um yeah the only reason I didn't do gift guides this year is because I put a lot a lot a lot of planning into those videos and um I just didn't have the brain capacity this year but I promise you next year um there will be gift guides I'm really really hoping I say this every year when it gets to the end like middle of December I'm like next year I'll do vlogmas next year i really hope to do vlogmas it's something i would really love to do um so yeah putting it out there into the universe that next year fingers crossed there will be a daily vlogmas um because i love watching everyone else here there's something about it that just feels so just so like comforting i just love it and i'd love to be a part of it so next year fingers crossed um I will be able to take part in it and my gift guides will be back. I have just been feeling really bad about it. But yeah, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry that there are no gift guides this year and next year it will be different, hopefully. <laughs> um, so let's start with Noah's Christmas Eve box, which is probably the thing I'm most excited about. I think Christmas Eve boxes are just so exciting. Noah won every single year. The Christmas Eve box is actually not here yet. Um, it was due to be delivered on the 1st of December, but obviously because there's a lot of like Royal Mail strikes and things, it's bound to be delayed. But I'm, I'm really hoping it gets here before Christmas. Um, if not, I will have to make some kind of like homemade one and then he can have his proper one next year. But Christmas Eve bits, obviously Noah is six and a half months old now. So each year his Christmas Eve box is going to be different. But this year... I got, of course, a very cute pair of pyjamas. Look how small they are. And these are from Mamas and Papas. I got them personalised with his name, which I think is such a lovely little touch. So he's got a new pair of pyjamas for Christmas Eve. Then I got a book. I had to get The Night Before Christmas. A classic. The Night Before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. It's so cute. This book is so cute. Then we have the little board that I've picked up from B&M, which has got a little place for Santa's milk, Santa's cookies and some snacks for the reindeers. Some bath time toys, which I thought would be nice to put in his Christmas Eve box so when he has his little bath, Christmas Eve bath he can play with his new toys these are also from B&M then I got a little cuddly I thought the snowman was just the perfect little cuddly to pop in there then a little teether that's everything in Noah's Christmas Eve box um obviously each year it will change and 
I feel like it will get better each year because when he's a little bit older he can obviously have like a little mug for hot chocolate, he can have snacks. Also got this reindeer sack, how cute is this? Also from Mamas and Papas, which I also personalised as well. And I just thought this could be something he has every year to keep his gifts in. His main gift this year, which I'm going to get today when I finish my Christmas shopping, is a ball pit because his playroom is gonna be ready in the next few days so we can start moving his toys over to his playroom. And I thought a ball pit would just be really fun and also something that can help his sitting up because he's so close to be sitting to sitting up by himself now. So I think the ball pit will help. But other toys that I got, do you guys really wanna see baby toys? You probably don't. But if you have a six month year old, and you're wondering what to get them, maybe this will help. I'll show you very, very quickly. Okay, so we got a, a walking, talking tortoise with a phone on the back. He plays music, um, he, he crawls, he has a drum, he is musical. He looks like a fun guy. I am excited to get him out of his box on Christmas morning. A musical elephant, which is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like quite a big thing, but it's just small. Again, I thought this would be great for when he's sitting up. Um, it turns, it rotates, it grasps, it pulls, it flips and it twists. How cute! So, oh, his head comes off. These go on here like this. You guys get the gist thought he'd enjoy that oh whoa that one's got giraffe arms on like this obviously it's done a little bit better than that but i don't want to um, bore you to death when i mentioned about getting noah some toys in last week's vlog quite a few of you guys recommended these from amazon apparently they're really fun and basically it's this soft pretend tissue box and loads of tissues <laughs> pretend ones that like all feel a little bit different. I thought he'd love that, just pulling them up here. And for my mum, I won't show you too much because some of it's just really random. <laughs> my mum's stocking this year is a very random. I'll give you a quick overview in a moment. But um, if you guys haven't looked on Lush this year, they've got some lovely gift sets. I think a Lush gift set is up there, like one of the best gifts you could give this Christmas. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. It's the sleepy bus. So this is a Lush gift set. Wow, it smells amazing. Oh, how cute. It's just the packaging, it's so, so cute. So this has inside a shoot for the stars bath bomb, a sleepy shower gel, which is so nice. I had some of that last year. Sleepy body lotion, butter bear bath bomb, sleepy bubble bath, <laughs> can't speak and twilight bath bomb love oh look the moon head is reading the lush times okay here's my mum's very random stocking selection so far i have got some other bits coming like some fluffy socks um some other just like bits and bobs but here's what i have so far these little fairy windows which i got from center parks for her garden then I got this little Burt's Bees lip balm set. She loves Burt's Bees. Got some blood orange curd because why not? <laughs> Basically she loves lemon curd so I thought this would just be something nice. Stockings are about being random, right? I love a random stocking. Got this from the garden centre the other day. Thought it was cute and I'm going to pop a little picture of Noah in here. Then got some hotel chocolate chocolates. My mum's favourite cleanser. Um, a lint Santa. This is so cute. Oh, and then a new Christmas tree, but mini version. You would have seen last week, my mum's one of these, which is the bigger version in action. And it's one of her favorite things to get out every Christmas. So I, I know she is gonna love this mini one. I'm so excited to give her it. Noah's in his new snowsuit. Look how cool, isn't it? Santa's sorting office. Wow, look at all the letters. Oh, 
This is amazing, isn't it? Really cool. We're only at the very first bit as well. Oh my goodness, I can hear the Grinch. <laughs> this is my dream. I can hear the Grinch film. <gasps> Where are you, Christmas? Wow. Oh my goodness. from the Grinch, how amazing! <gasps> this is my dream! It's like an actual Grinch set. Let's see. Wow! <laughs> Which one is Noe? <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh! It's, not, it's never gonna end. <laughs> it's getting faster! Oh my goodness! Oh, he's a Christmas tree. At least you're not Scrooge. Enchanted wow. Frozen Forest. Wow. How amazing is this? This is usually just like a garden centre with plants in it, obviously, but they've completely transformed it to Christmas Winter Wonderland. It's amazing. Oh, that is so let cute. It snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping And I brought some corn I wonder if Noah's going to make his elf noise again <laughs> Imagine What is that? It's one of your buddies again What is this? <gasps> it's Elfie We're on to the next bit it feels never ending, there's so much to see. <gasps> wow! There's more elves! done my skincare i'm in a fresh pair of our girl of muse pajamas we have a few sizes of these left so i'll leave a link for these down below but these are just the coziest softest material i absolutely love them I have just popped some cookies in the oven which i think are pretty much going to be done let's go and have a look and see if they are ready Ooh, looking good Oh wow, they smell amazing. It's the first time making these cookies. I think they need about five more minutes and then I can get them out. These are the cookies I used. I bought these from Tesco's a few weeks ago.
weeks ago and they live in the freezer so they're super easy they come like in pre-rolled little cookie dough balls you literally just pop them on a baking tray in the oven for 15 minutes and then you have freshly baked cookies thank you guys so much for spending the day with me i'm feeling a lot more ready for christmas now a lot more organized i actually pretty much finished my christmas shopping earlier i just need to like pop into a few shops and get a few last minute bits but i think i'm ready to wrap now i like to complete all of my christmas shopping before i start wrapping so that will be the next job um plans for this evening are jamie is just getting noah ready for bed so i'm gonna get started on dinner we're just having super easy sausage mash and gravy i might even throw a few pigs in blankets in there because i haven't stopped thinking about them all day but yeah guys this is actually going to be my last vlogmas episode which makes me feel really sad um and my next video will be in the new year so i just wanted to wish you all a really really wonderful christmas i hope you all have the loveliest time and a really happy new year as much as i love christmas i do love a new year i love getting a new planner that is one of the highlights I love that like fresh feeling of a new year, just like a new start, set some goals, be having a big clear out, a big wardrobe declutter, um, and just like feeling really fresh going into the new year. I think it's a really nice time to get into some new routines, some new habits, and yeah, I'm excited to see what 2023 brings. Um, 2023 is finally gonna be the year of wedding planning which I am so looking forward to. So the wedding series is finally gonna commence. I know I've been going on about it for, oh my goodness, we've been engaged for a year. It's just hit me that we got engaged last Christmas Eve. I am going to be taking a little bit of time off over the next few weeks. So I'm gonna be back in January, which seems ages away, but it's gonna come around so quickly. I will catch up with you guys in the new year. I feel sad. Merry Christmas, my loves, and a happy new year. How many more times do I want to say that? And why do I feel like I'm saying goodbye forever? I'm like, so long. <laughs> See you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>